Hello, this is Heather from NearlyThere.com, and I'm going to give you a quick review of Craftsy.com if you've never tried it out before. This is what it looks like when you're not logged in. You can actually browse through the topics and you'll see that they're very craft focused. Just through browsing, not logged in, you can get a sense of what's available, yet you can better understand how it works if you go ahead and join. Joining is free. And it even gives you access to the free mini classes that are available. And they're really fantastic. I'm going to go ahead and sign in and show you what that looks like. Here I am logged into my Craftsy and I can see the classes that I've signed up for. And um, I can also see activity that uh, maybe people have posted in the various classes that I've subscribed to. And that inbox is always refreshing with new updates. So it feels like there's a lot of activity going on. Know Your Wool is one of the free courses available, and if you do anything with fiber or wool or yarn, it's definitely fantastic to take this course. Deb Robson co-wrote the Fleece and Fiber source book, and so you have a sense when you're looking at the various Craftsy classes that they have picked people who are very knowledgeable, experienced, and respected in their fields. So even though I don't know anything directly about cake decorating, I imagine that for other people who are really into cake decorating, they're going to recognize familiar names there, um, uh, authors and um, uh, instructors that they're familiar with from um, real life events and online. So I was so delighted to take this class and um, it set off a whole world of exploration for me and I'll show you what it's like um, to use the environment. So you can fast forward and rewind and play on the videos and as I watch through these various chapters, the comments here will get updated and they'll be relevant in time code to the video as I'm watching it. The other thing is I can ask questions and often I'll get responses directly from the instructors, which just feels like a great buzz. So I can actually see on my activity as well, once I've done a project, I like to share a picture and then it's motivating to actually see uh, the comments that have uh, been posted to your projects or to various questions you've asked. And so in that sense, the interactivity, uh, I think, has actually even gotten better since I started using Craftsy. It's a little bit easier to find things. Um, it feels like it's all in one now. So uh, definitely to get the most out of Craftsy, you should submit your projects, comment on other people's projects. That external motivation and interaction might be just the kick you need to get some things started. And uh, definitely that's one way to make the absolute most of the, of the platform. Uh, also, you can keep notes. Um, I haven't apparently kept many notes in this particular course, but it is nice to be able to keep notes and bookmark as you go along. And one way I use Craftsy is I'll watch the entire course all the way through, um, as with the Shetland Hapshall course, uh, while I'm spinning or doing something else. And then when I go through and I'm actually working on the project, I go and watch that specific chapter on that specific technique that I might be confused about. So um, in that sense, keeping notes and bookmarks makes it really handy. So that is my overall review of Craftsy. I would say if you are curious about it, definitely sign up for the free courses um, as you can find them quite easily. And also, if you are about to make a purchase, make sure you're taking advantage of all the discounts that are available. People who use Craftsy tend to hoard classes and buy them when they're on sale. So you can check what's on sale um, through their catalog directly, but also make sure you have subscribed to their email list. You will get incentive discounts and that are quite frequent. So often people say, oh, I won't buy anything unless it's 30% off. Um, it's up to yourself whether you think that investment's worth it, but if it's a little more motivating, um, they definitely build their platform around these incentive discounts and that'll come up frequently. Another tip is to actually go to the websites of the instructors that you most admired. You're probably already subscribed to their blogs or checking them out on Twitter, etc., Facebook. Go look at their sites and see if they're offering discount links. So you can see here that on the Patty Lyons website, there's a link to save $20 off her course. Hopefully this also gives her a little bump and I think that's nice. I think she may get um, some affiliate link incentive for herself to promote, which I think is fantastic. Why not pass that on? Um, and let's see what that looks like. Actually, I'm already subscribed to this course, so um, let's see how it looks for someone who is not registered yet. Here you can see 
that um, Patty's discount link would save me 58% on the purchase price of my course. So I hope that tip is useful to you. I'll have a more detailed Craftsy review on my website, nearlythere.com. So you can find out more about Craftsy, what's included, and how to get the most of it.